we're going to use an addition or subtraction formula, also known as a sum or difference identity, to simplify the expression tangent of the quantity pi over two minus u. Now in the homework we're told, we're going to write this in terms of cotangent, but let's go ahead and ignore this right side and just simplify the left side. This is a little unusual because, remember, tangent pi over two is undefined, and we can recognize this a couple of ways. If we graph the basic tangent function seen here, notice that pi over two radians, we have a vertical asymptote, meaning the function is undefined at pi over two radians. Also on the unit circle, since tangent theta is equal to sine theta divided by cosine theta, on the unit circle, tangent theta is equal to y divided by x. Notice that pi over two radians, y divided by x would be one divided by zero, which again is undefined. And since the period of tangent is equal to pi radians, this is only defined when u is not a multiple of pi radians. So let's make a note here on the right that this is only defined when u doesn't equal a multiple of pi or pi times k, where k is some integer. And again, because tangent pi over two radians is undefined, if we try to apply the difference identity for tangent of the quantity a minus b, it won't work, but let's go ahead and apply it and see why. Notice when we apply our formula here, a is equal to pi over two, and b is equal to u. And because we have a difference, that means we'll have a difference in the numerator and a sum in the denominator. So again, we'd have the numerator of tangent A minus tangent B, which would be tangent of pi over two minus tangent U. The denominator would be one plus tangent A times tangent B, which would be one plus tangent pi over two times tangent u. And we can't evaluate this because remember, tangent pi over two is undefined. This doesn't mean we can't simplify this. We'll have to use the fact that tangent theta equals sine theta divided by cosine theta to simplify. So let's go ahead and start over. And we can say that tangent of pi over two minus u would be equal to sine of pi over two minus u divided by cosine of pi over two minus u. Again, this is the quotient identity, tangent theta equals sine theta divided by cosine theta. And now we'll apply the difference identities for sine and cosine given below. Notice in both cases, a is still pi over two and b is still u. So for sine of the quantity pi over two minus u, since we have a difference here, notice how we'll have a difference when we apply the identity. And for cosine pi over two minus u, since we have a difference, we'll have a sum when applying the identity. So for sine of the quantity pi over two minus u, we'd have sine a times cosine b, which is sine pi over two times cosine u, and then minus cosine a times sine b, which would be cosine pi over two times sine u. And for a denominator, cosine of the quantity pi over two minus u, we'd have cosine a times cosine b, or cosine pi over two times cosine u, and then plus sine a times sine b, which is sine pi over two times sine u. And now for the next step, we'll evaluate sine pi over two and cosine pi over two. We should know these function values, but for a quick review, again on the unit circle, x equals cosine theta and y equals sine theta. Notice that pi over two radians, the x coordinate is zero and the y coordinate is one, which means cosine pi over two is equal to zero and sine pi over two is equal to one. And we should also recognize that if we graph the basic sine and cosine functions on the coordinate plane, which we see here, this first graph is the graph of y equals sine theta, and the second graph is the graph of y equals cosine theta. So 
So notice that pi over two radians, the sine function value is positive one, and the cosine function value at pi over two radians is zero. So going back to our work, since cosine pi over two is equal to zero, this product would be zero, and so would this product. And since sine pi over two is equal to one, this simplifies nicely to one times cosine u in the numerator, which would be cosine u. The denominator would be one times sine u, or just sine u. And again, using the quotient identity, cosine u divided by sine u is equal to cotangent u. Which means tangent of the quantity pi over two minus u simplifies to cotangent u as long as u is not a multiple of pi radians. And for the homework question, notice how we're only entering f of u, and since we have cotangent u, f of u would just be equal to u. I hope you found this helpful.